Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to look into stale opportunity automation. So I'll try to explain stale opportunity automation using a use case. So I'll go to my opportunities and go to pipelines. So right now we only have one pipeline. And if you don't know what a pipeline is and how it works and what's the use case, you can watch my uh, opportunity and pipeline management videos. Uh, it's in my channel and I'll try to put it in the description too. So if I create a new pipeline saying that um, lead nurture or maybe just let me just uh, edit the current one. So I'll call it leads. That's fine. So I'll call hot leads and I'll say warm leads and I can say cold ghosted. I could also say responded asked for quote i can add as many stages as i like so i'll just say move it across okay so we have stages hot lead responded asked for quote warm leads cold leads ghosted so i'll save it now what i want to do is uh if if uh if, if a new lead comes in i could call it a hot lead because this lead has shown interest in my service or product and I want automation to go out, right? So I, I, I'll keep sending email or SMS until the lead responds. So if the lead does not respond to my emails or SMS for seven days, I'll automatically, I want to move them to warm leads, you know, and if the lead still doesn't respond for, let's say seven more days. So it's been 14 days since the lead came in, but didn't respond. I want to move that to cold leads and if it's been a month we could call this lead abandoned or ghosted so that's the use case basically that's what we are going to implement for that I will go to automation and I'll say create start from scratch I'm going to call it style opportunity automation now i'm gonna say first thing hot leads to warm leads how does that happen so the lead has been there for seven days and uh, hasn't responded if the lead responded it would have been moved to responded right so uh what i want to do is i want to say stale opportunity and i'm gonna say here we need to put a few filters on i'm gonna say in pipeline lead in uh, pipeline stage hot leads and the duration is uh seven in days right so the lead has been in pipeline uh lead pipeline in hot leads pipeline stage and it's been there for seven days what i want to do is i want to update the opportunity to warm leads and this will happen automatically because the lead has been there for seven days i want to, to move to uh to warm leads automatically and that's that's one so you could call it one right and now let's create another one stale opportunity two. same thing uh, stale opportunities in pipeline leads in pipeline stage uh, warm leads and if it's been there for like uh, duration in days seven more days I want to move that to cold so I'll update opportunity And I'll say cold leads. Opportunity name will be same as full name. Okay, cool. So that's how you uh, move opportunities from one stage to another based on a specific time duration. So if it's not been moved, we can assume it's going cold. And based on that, uh, based on that information, we can automatically move them using the stale opportunities pipeline. And you can think of uh, how to implement it for your business because. Every business is different, basically. So 
I don't want to be too specific in terms of imp implementing it. I'm just showing you how to do it so you can do it for yourself. And hope this video was helpful. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.